Hello and welcome back to another episode of Lake Erie Ice. Episode number five and today I'm back here at Crystal Beach uh, checking out what has been technically a very much a topsy-turvy kind of week down here with the ice and the weather. Uh, in the last episode last week I have told you the forecast was meant to have shown just a couple of days of temperatures being around about seasonal maybe slightly above like one or two degrees it didn't quite happen. Um, the weather <laughs> actually went quite warm for a few days. Uh, we actually hit around about four or five degrees down here and inland a little bit further, temperatures got to about seven degrees. So we had a very rapid thaw of ice and snow, which uh, created uh, the lake to th uh, fall out in a lot of places as well. And added along with that, we had some stronger southwesterly winds, which kind of broke the ice up, as you can see in many places behind me. And I'll put the drone up very shortly and, and show you some shots. Uh, so with that said, um, I came across a satellite image of, uh, which, from NASA of Lake Erie and this was taken probably around February the 9th when the thaw just started and you can clearly see a lot of open water on the lake, uh, which is quite interesting. Now, the last few days we've had a lot of cloud cover so the satellite images have been really, really poor. Uh, the is trying to brighten up right now so maybe when they do the next satellite uh, release, which is probably around about three or four hours from now, which is when I'm editing, I'll see if I can, they've got another one I can compare it. Uh, but there was quite a bit of open water. Luckily, NASA did do a, a satellite image today and there was enough break in the cloud for us to just see uh, what it looks like right now. The blue bit is the eastern part of Lake Erie. You can tell there, there's a bit of open water or it could be just very clear blue ice um, where it's just frozen again since last night. But uh, quite an interesting picture there. Uh, this time last week, we were saying we're just over the 80 to 90% mark of ice coverage, but that is definitely a lot less now. I'm going to put you a graphic up very, very quickly, and you can see from this graphic um, the ice coverage and the thickness of the ice in the area. Uh, now, where we are in the Crystal Beach area and the east end of Lake Erie, the ice is a little bit thinner. Um, but if you go west of Long Point, it goes a lot thicker. Uh, around the edges, you're looking around about six to 12 inches. Now, if you go out into the middle of the lake, for some reason, it's even a lot deeper there. Uh, they're showing up to about 28 inches of thickness of ice. But then there's also another large pocket of open water way out there, which I think after last night's temperatures of minus 16, uh, it's probably gone. I'm just trying to see on the horizon way over there. I can't figure out if that's just very thin ice I can see, or there's actually uh, a bit of water out there. So anyway, right now, it's uh, minus 11, so it's a uh, bitterly cold down here. And uh, yeah, I think this is probably the last weekend we'll see with the lake being full of ice. Right, the good thing about that thaw we just had the other day, all this was cased in really thick ice over the past couple of weeks, and I wasn't able to walk down to the end of here, and now you can. So it's, that's kind of cool to get right to the end of the... Uh, the break wall here and uh, look around. Now in previous years, I have seen uh, ski out on the water and a lot of ice fishermen. This year, hardly any. Uh, a lot of it may have to do with the fact that it's really hard for them to get out on uh, due to the buildup of ice in places like this, where the winds have really uh, made it rough. Uh, pushed the freezing water up and the ice and created this kind of like wall of blue ice all along the uh, shoreline here. And uh, not only that, it hasn't been that thick long enough to support them. I know uh, last weekend, uh, 18 people had to be uh, rescued from Lake Erie down by uh, Cleveland in Ohio uh, due to them on a piece of ice which broke away from the rest and they had to have a massive rescue. And uh, yeah. So that was uh, pretty intense for those people. Uh, thankfully, at this end of the lake, we haven't had any incidents like that, which is kind of cool.
All right, looking ahead towards the uh, weather outlook for the next few days, actually the next couple of weeks, um, I think after this cold spell we're having right now, which is Sunday, Monday, and into Tuesday, it starts to warm up and we'll start seeing temperatures going above freezing again for a couple of days. I think Wednesday is showing at seven degrees and it drops down to about seasonal, which is like minus one, minus two. So it's gonna be a little bit of a roller coaster now for the next two weeks. So I think this is probably the thickest we'll see the lake ice coverage is today and tomorrow. And then I think we're gonna start seeing by next weekend, I have a funny feeling we might start seeing some open uh, pockets of water in the very far distance. So uh, we'll try and get the drone really far out there next week. And I still want to try and get out to the lighthouse if I can. So uh, next weekend, uh, we'll try and get out there for uh, episode six. So any, in the meantime, uh, I'm going to show you uh, some of the footage I got from the drone earlier on today. Enjoy, and I'll see you all next week. Mm -hmm.